Well, I decided to do another YouTube video, and this is about um, clean energy. Um, the candidates have talked about nuclear power plants. McCain has talked about, you know, building 40 to 45 nuclear power plants. And I don't know if you can tell on this map, there's all these little dots on a majority of the United States, or each specific state has some dots, except for maybe around, I don't know, I see about eight or so. And uh, they store nuclear waste. And, you know, some of this stuff, you know, the lower stuff may only be thousands of years before it's become safe. But, you know, this high level radioactive waste can go up to like a hundred thousand years. And uh, imagine how much more waste that will be created with 40 to 45 nuclear power plants. You know, you have to look, they, they store a lot of water, and then you have the rods and everything. And then they have to transport this stuff. I've watched here on the west coast where I live, you know, where they're using ships to move this stuff. Anyways, I have a better idea on, you know, a few things. And uh, one of them, of course, you know, is talking about solar power. You guys want to do solar power and wind, which is great. But here's something I wish both candidates would look into. So have like 25% of all the max power a house can run on power, but make it solar power. So figure out whatever 100%, uh, you know, a brand new house would use that was built, and then take 25% of that power and figure out how many solar panels you need or whatever, but the house has to always run on at least a minimum of 25% solar power. And to help the cost, the government would chip in instead of maybe building nuclear power plants, but to uh, put money towards each house to help them pay for the cost of having these solar panels. And any house already built can then go to the government and get rebates or whatnot to have solar power put on their house. So imagine down the road that 25% of all households run, running, you know, using power in the United States is being run by solar power so that would be 25 percent of a lot of energy you know that we would no longer have to use as coal nuclear you know things that pollute our earth or leave toxic waste that will be around for a long long time but also there's something interesting it's called uh there's wave energy and uh this is just one example of it they have um, ways of creating electricity using the you know the ocean currents, and uh, I was watching a video in Australia, and that they're planning to power majority of their large cities by using things as that you see before you, and this is from the Oregon State University, and uh, woohoo for West Coast for coming up with ideas. Um, it's clean. There's no toxic waste. There's not, you know, all this uh, terrible stuff be put into our atmosphere. This is clean energy. And I have not heard any candidates talk about using ocean waves. There are things where they can build on the, you know, on the shores that will allow, you know, the waves to come in and power the turbines and whatnot. But those can be more devastating to the ecology along the, you know, along the shores. But these, they're out in the ocean and they're just... You know, they create energy from, you know, the movement of the ocean wave, which is constant all the time. So here, look at this. And I was reading that, you know, just putting this stuff around the shores of the United States, not like, you know, non-stop around, but in, you know, creating farms, that they could easily create 6% of all U.S. energy consumption. 6%. I mean, that's just a minimum. Imagine if they bump that up, you know, to like 15%. And, you know, this is out in the ocean. It, you don't have to build all these humongous factories that are going to be, you know, doing lots of pollution. This is free energy, just like solar. So here's something for them to look at. Please look into this. It's a great way of, you know, creating more electricity. And please look into, you know, creating a law that would force all new homes to have to have solar panel and use, you know, have the government buy, I don't know, 
buy maybe even buy the solar panels and then sell it at a discount to the you know people that would be using it but imagine if you know each house was run 25 percent of it on solar power and imagine in places where power goes out you know that 25 percent would be enough power to run things like the refrigerator you know the tv to see what's going on after maybe a terrible storm so it has even more benefits that people could still have their food not go bad because of power outs for days or maybe be somewhere where it could be freezing cold but anyways this is just one more idea and i wish the both candidates would look into and please do not talk about making nuclear power plants it's not it's not a good idea. There are better alternatives to do than to create tons and tons of nuclear waste that will be around for thousands and tens of thousands of years. Thank you.